Right, it is October 14th, AKA Vlogtober 14th. The run streak continues. We're on day 11, day seven for her. Inga's doing really well with her streak. And she's gonna do her mile. And then I'm gonna continue on and get a couple more, maybe do three or four today, I'm not sure. So it's pretty cold out this morning. It was 48 degrees Fahrenheit when we stepped out the door, but it feels pretty good in the sun. And it's not nearly as windy as it has been the last couple days, so that's kind of nice in a filmmaking sense or a vlogging sense. I don't have to worry about that added wind to my videos. I wanted to stop and shoot a quick video here. Inga just headed back, so I'm alone now for the rest of my run. You see that bridge there? I've never actually crossed it. So my goal today is to run this way until I get to the neighborhood, hook a right, find out whatever street it is that I can get to this bridge on, cross that back over the highway here, and then head home. My calculations are right. Should be roughly three, three and a half miles, maybe a little bit more. We'll find out. So my plan of hooking it right once I got to the neighborhood has been shattered. Um, it's all torn up with road work here and they have both sides, not only the road, but both sidewalks are closed. I'm gonna have to take the long way apparently. Go up a little bit more, hook over this way, make a loop around this road construction. All right, we're making a quick stop here. I don't really know where I am. I've never ran in this neighborhood before. So after stopping, I can see that there's a main road this way which is probably what I want to look for to hook back over right towards that pedestrian bridge. But I also saw this uh, pretty awesome looking church here. So I figured I would stop. This is the Our Lady of the Americas church here. Des Moines has a lot of pretty cool, really old church buildings. A lot more than I'm used to in Idaho and even Oregon. Oregon has a couple, but nothing like here. Although if you're really into seeing big elaborate churches and stuff like that go check out st paul minnesota I mean. all right so we finally found the bridge problem is it's back there we passed it somehow so i gotta go back up this road hook a left and it should just be another block or two over that way and then i'll be able to cross the highway on that technically i could cross the highway on this bridge right here but that wasn't my goal today and uh, wind's starting to pick back up, so sorry if the audio is starting to suck now. All right, we're getting closer to the bridge. I went down another wrong street, <laughs> but that's all right. I mean, the good thing is I'm getting to learn and explore these neighborhoods that I've never been in. So next time I'm up this way, I'll have a better direction of where I'm going, where I'm at. I can see it though. It's just on the other side of this, uh, looks like apartment complex. So we finally made it across that bridge. Funny thing is, once I got across the bridge, I'm in the same apartment complex that I ran through the other day by mistake. I was trying to uh, get back to the water. And again, in a neighborhood where I didn't really know where I was, took a wrong street, ended up in a, what I thought was a dead end. Technically, I could have went through that parking lot and taken that bridge across the highway. Now I know. So again, running, even riding your bike, walking. If you're looking to get to know your city better, especially for somebody like me who just moved to a new city, running is absolutely the best way. It's been a good run so far. We're at, um, we're at three and a half miles right now, so it could be a little bit over what I was thinking. Might even end up being a five miler today, but I'm doing a real easy pace today. There's downtown in the distance, so 
now I know for sure that I'm heading the right way. I know where I'm going now. I decided to stop here on the Red Bridge. We're almost home, actually. We just hit mile four, so it might end up being like maybe four and a half. It's not gonna be five today. Not unless I make it five, and I don't think I'm going to, but glad to finally cross that bridge. Glad to explore some new neighborhoods. And I'm gonna go home and eat, and we're gonna head to Target to uh, grab a few grocery items. All right, made it back from our run. Ended up being 4.48 miles, so basically 4.5, four and a half miles. Pretty good run though. Pace was slower today than it was yesterday, but that's what we planned on doing. So I'm fine with that. All right, so we just got out of Target. Now we're heading over to Costco, but we got some pretty good uh, stuff at Target that I'll show you guys later in the video. We're really hoping to get some tofu at Costco, so keep your fingers crossed. All right, so we're back home, and I'm gonna show you what we got from Target first. Let's start on this side with the yogurt. So we got the Wee Dairy Free. Inga got four of the pumpkin caramel flavor because she's pretty much obsessed with this yogurt at this point. And then she grabbed a strawberry one as well. Then we got some almond milk. Nothing too special there. The Wee's, by the way, are $1.69 at Target, which is actually pretty cheap. Then we got these My Mochi, the salted caramel ones. The same ones that I showed in a video before, but they had three boxes of them and they were on, still on clearance for $2.59 a box. So you get six mochis per box at $2.59, pretty dang good deal. And we got this Lipton onion soup powder mix stuff. Inga had read that it was vegan and that it would be good on like potatoes and stuff, so we went ahead and bought it. All right, next up we got these Gardein Ultimate Plant-Based Sausage Links. These are the Bratwursts. And these were on sale for seven dollars, so not necessarily not necessarily a clearance item, but still a pretty good sale. It was like a dollar fifty off the regular price. And we got a thing of onion powder because we were out of onion powder, and there's some sort of weird onion powder shortage that we can't find it anywhere, but we found it at Target. And we got a couple more of the plant-based chicken with rice soups from Campbell's. These were two dollars and sixty-nine cents. All right, so now we're gonna look at what we got from Costco. And it's just a few things, but a few good deals here. We got this Sara Lee Artisano bread twin pack here. So two loaves for $4.99. I had to double check the ingredients just cause sometimes Sara Lee will put either honey or vitamin D uh, in their bread. And if you get the D3, that is animal based. So you gotta watch for that sometimes. We have the Millet and brown rice rice ramen that I used in a video the other day. We were getting a little low, so we bought another pack. And we got some bananas. We got these St. Rosen's Jumbo Brat and Sausage Rolls. These are gonna go really well with the uh, Gardein sausages that we just bought. And we're also gonna make some uh, vegan French dip sandwiches with these using my seitan. We got these mini French rolls, same brand, St. Rosen's. Uh, this one you get 18, and this one you get 12. So pretty good deal. Costco is definitely the place to go when you need bread. Now they ended up having our tofu, which it's been, it's been about three or four weeks since we've seen it over there. So we went ahead and bought two things. It was $6.50 per box here, but you get four pounds of tofu in each box. So it's still a really great deal. And this is the best tofu that we could find on the market right now. Last thing, we got some La Croix. This is the uh, holiday pack. It was $8.50. And it has the Raz Cranberry, Berry, and Tangerine flavor. So I goofed up a little bit. I was just doing a little bit of video editing with today's footage for the Vlogtober 14th video for the one that's gonna come out tomorrow on the 15th and realized that the video that I put out today, the Vlogtober 13th video, on both the title and on the thumbnail, the little picture, 
it said that it was run streak day 11 and that is incorrect yesterday was actually run streak day 10 today was day 11 so i ended up having to redo the title and then also remake the thumbnail and re-upload it so luckily i caught that before it sat there for two or three days and people got really confused but just to clarify today the 14th of october is day 11 of the run streak yesterday the 13th was day 10 but i goofed that one up although even though I've changed the thumbnail and stuff like that, if I try to share the video, like share it onto Facebook or something like that, it still has that old thumbnail that says uh, Run Streak Day 11. So I don't know how many hours it's gonna be before their system updates to the new thumbnail to where I can actually share that and it not be confusing for people. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. But I think I'm gonna call it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it here. That's gonna do it for Vlogtober 14th. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see more vlogs and you wanna see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna support this channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna receive notifications whenever I drop a new video. Until tomorrow guys, until Vlogtober 15th, take care.